and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to use the PDF Design Center for creating your own virtual tour flyers. Uh, for the purposes of this, we're going to assume that you're already logged into Digital Home Info and on the dashboard. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the listings menu item in the upper left corner of the dashboard. And this is going to take us to our listings tab where we have all the listings. What we're going to do now is scroll down to find the listing that we want to create a flyer for. And we're going to hit the edit link just underneath the home code and address. And this is going to take us to our edit property code screen. Across the top here you see a second set of tabs that allow you to change the various properties of the, for this particular listing. The tab that we're most interested in right now is the virtual tour settings tab. So we're going to click on it and you'll see that uh, it, we've got two columns. Selecting the default virtual tour, changing the music settings. Uh, if you have created your own virtual tour flyer you can upload it here or you can click this link right here that says click here to design your own PDF and use the PDF Design Center. So I'm going to click on that and the first thing that it's going to do is it's going to take us to a listing of all the PDF layouts that we have. Now you'll note that the background um, is different colors between some of these. Don't worry about the background, just select a layout that you like. You can actually change the background as well. So for the purposes of this, I'm going to select this first layout here with the vertical column of photos. And this is going to take us to our template designer page. Now across the top of the template designer page, we've got a little help link that you can click on, which provides some instructions as to what each area is good for and how to use it. Underneath of that, uh, you'll see a row of backgrounds that are available. You can actually just scroll through those, find a background that you like, and just drag and drop it onto this little box down here that says drag background here. Next to the backgrounds is a list of information options. You've got show agent information, show agent photo, show price, description, use custom font colors, uh, show the QR code, show the address, and you can actually customize some of these things, like you can change the agent information that shows up down here at the bottom. You can change the agent photo, change the price, description, font color, that sort of thing. Um, just above these, we have Preview Flyer and Save This Flyer. Preview Flyer is um, a, a full screen, full size preview of it. What you're seeing down here is a scaled down version, so it may not look exactly like this. Like Right here, one thing that I know is that the left side doesn't have the white border around it, but when you look at it in full screen, it will have the white border. So this is really a very close approximation. It's just not exactly perfect. So you can hit the preview flyer to see exactly what it's going to look like. And then save this flyer. When you hit save this flyer, that actually saves it to the virtual tour so that um, this is what's presented instead of whatever was up there before. So it won't show up until you're happy with the way it looks and you hit this save this flyer button so that's a, a great thing uh, so you can work on it without worrying about the, whether or not your changes are visible at the moment on the left hand side over here we've got two columns we've got a column with all the photos for this particular listing and then there's a column that has uh, boxes that represent certain areas of the flyer that you can just drag and drop photos to. This particular flyer has four photos on it, so you've got four photo boxes, one, two, three, and four, and then you've got a background box as well. Okay, um, and then again, this is the preview area, which is a very close approximation to what the flyer itself looks like. And to, getting into how it works, this is all we have to do. Just It's really a pretty close drag and drop interface. So uh, let's say that we wanted to change the background. We would just select the background that we like, click on it, and drag it down to where it says drag background here. And when I drag the background down, it refreshes and shows you exactly what it's going to look like when it's printed out. So you can see that that's kind of kind of bright. Um, you know, that may work for some things. The big issue here is that we've got white text that 
is kind of hard to read on the bright area. So this is a great uh, example, a great time to come in and uh, select a custom font color. And we can do that just by clicking on this custom font color option. And we've got four options here. Select the desired font color. We've got white, light gray, dark gray, and black. So I'm going to select light gray and hit the save button. And when it pulls up this time, uh, we can see that the light gray is even harder to read. So that was a poor choice. So I'm just going to go ahead and select dark gray and see what that looks like. And there, that's, that's a lot easier to read. Um, and if I wanted to go another step further, I could actually select the black and you know, pick out the one that I like best and, and run with that. So there we go, there's black, uh, which is quite easy to read as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that at black for the moment. I selected my background color there, and I can go through and select any one of these backgrounds and see we've got uh, a lot of different patterns and um, stripes and that sort of thing. So you can just select any one that you like, drag and drop it down there, and it will automatically change over here. The same thing goes for the photos. So right now I've got a photo of the home, the kitchen, the bathroom, and the backyard as the four photos on this flyer. I don't have the living room in there anywhere, but I really want to get the living room in there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this living room photo here, and I'm going to drag it down, and I'm going to drop it probably in the number two, or number three, I mean. And when I do that, you'll see that the new photo shows up here in the number three position. And now I want to go ahead and drop that bathroom into number four because I want to show it. Uh, and now I've got the outside, the kitchen, the living room, and the bathroom on my flyer there. So that's great. I like the photos that are there. Now I want to go ahead and change up some of this information. Uh, what you'll see is over here, I actually have some custom information under the agent info. Uh, so you'll see I've got custom agent info up here. And I, don't, I really don't want that to be there because it doesn't match. It's, it's, a, it's, my, it's a man's name and a woman's photo. So I'm going to go ahead and click on custom agent info. And you can see where I typed this in previously. I'm just going to go ahead and backspace over this stuff and leave it all blank so that it's not the custom agent information anymore. And then I'm going to hit the save button. Now when I do this, what it's going to do is it's going to revert it all back to the original information, which you can see now. It says Kimberly Small, the DHI team, and her phone number and email address. Uh, so that's really a, a great way you can customize what that information says, um, customize contact information, name, and everything. Or if you uh, want to revert it back to whatever the original information is on the account, you can just wipe it out like I just did. Another thing you can do is just uncheck this box next to the option, and it will actually remove that option from the flyer, like so. So I just unchecked it. Now you can see there is no information whatsoever for the agent there. And I can check it again, and it'll put it right back. And it'll do that for all of the different options that we have. So we've got to show QR code here, and now the QR code is gone. I check it and the QR code shows up. We've got show address, show agent photo. You can remove the agent photo. You can actually upload a custom agent photo as well. Show the price. Uh, if you want to change the price, you can do a custom price. Show the description, which is this area right here. You can change the description by adding custom description there and I showed you how to use the custom font color. So once you're all done and you've got the flyer looking like you want it to, uh, you can do a couple of things. You can click on the preview flyer button here, which will open up the flyer in a new full screen version, which you can see exactly what it's going to look like. And again, you'll notice here now, we've got that white stripe on the side, that white border on the side of the photo. So this is exactly what it's going to look like when somebody opens it from the flyer, from the virtual tour or if you print it. The other thing that we can do is click on save this flyer. Now that we're at a point where we're happy with the flyer, we can actually click on save this flyer and save it and that will make it show up as the flyer on the virtual tour. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and now the flyer is set up to save, show up on the virtual tour and it's in play. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. I hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching.